What is going on guys? Welcome to KevCon. My name is Connor and today I will be giving you a tutorial on virtual audio cables. More specifically, this tutorial will focus on separating in-game audio from that of something like Skype or TeamSpeak. Now this process is particularly useful if you're using a game capture software such as DxTory or in our case NVIDIA Shadowplay. Now, if you guys have researched virtual audio cables at all, you'll see a lot of people saying that it does not work with Shadowplay. This is completely false, and this tutorial will show you exactly how to get it working flawlessly with NVIDIA Shadowplay. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do is download the virtual audio cable software. Now, this is as simple as doing a Google search. Uh, it'll provide a ton of links where you can download the software, and of course, there will also be links to YouTube videos where you guys can watch and figure out how to download the software properly if you guys are unsure. Once you download the software, you're going to immediately open your virtual audio cables control panel. Now, you're going to need to run this as an administrator, and the goal here is to set the cables to 2. It will initially be set to 1. We're going to move it up to 2 and hit set. This is going to be our individual streams to separate the audio. Once you're done with that, we can close this. We're not going to need it anymore. And we can go into our sounds. And immediately when you go into playback, you're going to see that there are line one and line two. These are virtual audio cables. They will show up both in the playback tab as well as the recording tab. As we can see, line one and line two. Now the first thing we're going to need to do with these is we're going to need to set line 1 as our default device in both areas. So in recording we're going to line 1, set it as our default device, as well as in playback we're going to go to line 1, right click, and set it as our default device. From there we're going to go back to the recording tab, and we're going to need to change up the settings for line 1 and line 2 a little bit. So we're going to go to line 1, check out its properties, and then hit the listen tab. And from here, we need to ensure that listen to this device is checked off, and we need to make sure that our playback device is our speakers. And now we're going to do the same thing for line two. So we're going to go to line two, properties, listen, make sure that's checked off, and make sure that our playback device is our speakers. Now we can hit OK, and we can hit OK again. And now what we're going to need to do is go into our Skype or our TeamSpeak, find the settings, and find our audio settings for that particular software. And we're going to make sure that our speakers are set to line two. This is what's going to separate our Skype audio from our game audio. So Skype will be on line two and our game will be on line one. Now for something like DxTory, we can do this in the software itself. We can go to our devices and we can set it to use line one. However, if you're using something like Shadowplay, we will need to do something different where we go in game and set the device to line one. Okay guys, we are now in game and I'm going to show you what you need to do in your respective game to get your virtual audio cables to work with Shadowplay. Now, like I said, with something like DxTory, this can be done in the settings itself, but with Shadowplay, it's a little bit different. We're going to have to go in game and do it manually. So here I am in Heroes of the Storm. I'm going to navigate to my options. And of course, in your game's options, there should be something in regards to sound or audio. And we're going to look for output device, and we're going to make sure that it is set to line one. Once you have done this, you have successfully separated your Skype audio stream from that of your in-game audio stream. And this will allow Shadowplay to pick up your gameplay audio and separate it completely from any incoming Skype audio. Now guys, this completes the tutorial. If you enjoyed, please give it a like. And as always, subscribe for more KevCon tutorials. Thanks for watching. The layer is going to be locked, so all you have to do is double click that and hit OK on the menu that comes up. And now you can see that the lock is gone. So now we can right click the layer, blending options.